Good morning. Let us draw near to God. And we're going to be in James chapter 4, verses 7 through 10 this morning. And we're going to get a little closer. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, your sinners, and purify your hearts, your double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. And if you've noticed, I highlighted these verses in blue, which talks about obedience. Not only delighting in his words, but we want to be obedience, obedient to his word. And this is the Bible Reading Journal series, first color chart. And so, let's get a little bit more specific here for our very short Bible lesson. Now, let's take a look at the Ten Commands for drawing near to God and turning away from the world. In verse 7, James encourages us to submit to God. And the other half of the verse, he wants for us to resist the devil. Verse 8, James would like for us, encouraging us to draw near to God, cleanse your hands, and purify our hearts. Verse 9, he wants for us to lament, mourn, and weep. And in verse 10, James is encouraging us to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord. So these are considered to be the Ten Commitments, the Ten Commands in the book of James, chapter 4, verses 7 through 10. Then from the heart of a woman, weeds, fences, and the old black bull. Dear friend, I know you want to be a woman of after God's own heart. And that means that you desire to draw near to God, to humble yourself in his sight, and to keep yourself pure from sin and make God number one priority. And this is the reason we have morning coffee together on Monday mornings. So watch out for the weeds of sin. That includes pride, doubt, bitterness, and the anger and half-heartedness. Keep the fences strong and high against worldliness, lust, passion, and ungodly desires. These Ten Commandments is how you and I can grow in wisdom and faith and give God first priority in our hearts. So I went ahead and journal verse 7, and, and I inscribed it in two different verses, the Bible translations, I'm sorry, in the Amplified and the Message. And in the Message says, so let God work his will in you. Yell at loud, no, to the devil and watch him flee. Okay. And the Message translation is also encouraging us for us to say a quiet yes to God. And he'll be there in no time. Isn't that amazing? So one of the reflections and observations I made in my journaling this morning is to submit to God in humility and with a sincere heart. And resist the devil. He will flee then. Then in obedience, for me to break it down so I can walk in obedience today, I, would like, I plan on talking to God on and off during the day and be honest with him. And hopefully... With the help of the Holy Spirit, I'll submit to his will. Resist my sinful nature and be prayerful. I like to repent my anger. Yes, I count on my blessings. And one of my blessings is good health and having um, an opportunity to spend time with my husband this morning. And then I pray that for me to finish strong this day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, I went ahead and scribed two other additional scriptures you might want to write it down first peter verse uh ch no first peter chapter 5 verse 6 and ephesians 4 27 and ephesians 6 11 and listen to what ephesians 4 27 says do not give the devil an opportunity 
verse Ephesians verse Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil isn't that the truth well you all have a blessed day and that was my journaling with the infrastructure of the Bible reading journal series collection love to read God's word every morning with y'all and break it down and learn something new have a new perspective before I start the morning and the day you'll have a blessed day